good morning everybody we are in Lee's jet boat today doing some river fishing but we got one little pit stop before we do that what do we, we have we? one thing we're missing yes from the jet boat aka the stump jumper we don't have a foot pedal yes. for this rig it uh, went out last year and then I was ripping the one out of my Tuffy to replace it and so, well anyways we need to go get it so. I'm unavailable. Can you tell them I'm unavailable? You're not unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for us, Mikey? <laughs> I got a foot pedal. Oh, Control there we go. Here for you. We got we got our foot pedal. Awesome. What's up? Why do we need a foot pedal, boys? Well, because we got the river boat and the river boat doesn't have one anymore. All right, thank you, Michael. Have a nice day. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. All right, now we are off to go catch some some walleyes. There's some good ones in this river. Oh yeah, in this section of river, I should say. So I'm excited. Let's let's go get them. Robbie, she is running like a tot. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But we're in a cool area. That's all I got to say. She's back, baby. She's back. Boating is not a matter of life or death. It's more important than that. Tie on a little jig head. Bag of tricks. Ooh, there's one left here. Purple ringy dingy. Three and three quarter inch. Electric blue. White tail. On the slow poke long shank hook. There we go. That's the rig. Tie it up on eight pound mono and get some cameras going and we'll be set. Okay, we are finally casting. I am using what I've basically I've fallen in love with the last couple of weeks. I've got my fly, three way swivel, then to the dropper weight right there. And uh, we're gonna try it on this neck of the woods. See what happens. Fish on, finally. Good one. Or I snagged it either way. Oh boy. Finally, guys, we are hooked up to. S oh, snag, snag. Well, anyways, what I was gonna say, it's been a long time since we hooked into anything, anything at all. Uh, we did see one big one caught, so there, there's a, there's some around, but it's been very slow for us. Okay, that was a mega fail. What's the game plan, Lee? What are, uh, don't really have one. How are we gonna save this day? We're gonna look for a bunch of boats and we're gonna look for someone reeling them in and then we're gonna go over there. All right, I like it. Okay, first cast on the new spot fish on. Earlier in the day, we were hitting the spot with uh, typically bigger fish are there, but this is a good start to the day. First cast. And that's actually a nice auger. First cast with the hair jig. Just boom. Or not the hair jig, a fly actually. All right, finally, we got a fish in the boat. It only took like three hours and uh, first cast on the new spot. So that's always a good thing. Get this nice little little sauger back in the water. Well, we started out trying to catch a big one. We did see a big one caught. Um, you know, when you're trying to target big fish, usually you're fishing shallow. And we did that for, the first, like Robbie said, the first three hours. Not even a single bite, not even a single carp, nothing. So that guy just threw one back behind me. Uh, I'm gonna get rigged up here. I gotta get a fly on. Robbie, do you got a fly? I, can I do, I do. You'll get addic addicted just like I am. Nice guy, he's gonna provide the bait I for me. I should show you guys. See, earlier in the day I was using this weight right, right here and it was way too light, so I added a nice little bullet weight on there so I can get down to the depths rather quickly. Okay, I am getting one step closer to catching a fish here. Robbie got that first one on the board. Now, Oh, maybe I should tie the final line on. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't even tie on my three-way. I'm sitting here reeling and all my line is back inside the guides. 
Hey, special moment. you like that? Hey, I just can't wait to get out there. Okay, so that's my rig. I've actually got two hooks. Got a big fat jig head on there. Robbie hooked up nope. with the ringworm and the little fly. Here we go, Robbie. I'm in. Fish out. Hooked up. Literally. I was leaving it sit in one spot and it just was floating in the current there. And I'm sure it's another cookie cutter, but who knows? Oh yeah, even worse. <laughs> another sauger on the fly. Hooked up. Fish out. Finally. Took long enough. Look at the size of that whopper. Holy buckets, man. Now we're on them. See, this is what you've been missing all these days, Lee. Oh, man. What a, Welcome back. What a crying shame. There we go. Hooked up, hooked up. All right, another monster. I know what the name of the show is gonna be. Our worst show ever. <clears throat> Hey, at least we got on the board. You know, when you're fishing for big ones, unlike this, it's always a struggle. Unless you're there at the right day, the right time. Unfortunately, we couldn't put that together earlier, so we're uh, we're taking what we can get. How are they working that thing? Like that? I was just asking Robbie how the guys the other day were working this fly, how we got onto that program. He's like, oh, like this. I'm like, oh, you mean like this? Oh yeah, it kind of works. I pretty much only did it for, I don't know, about five or six poles and it worked. Ooh, look at that. Hungry, Robbie? Oh, yeah. Should we pop that pimple? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. Seriously, all I'm doing is what Robbie told me to do. It's actually working. Yeah, this is a decent one. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. They're getting bigger. Is that the first walleye? That is the first walleye. All right. Robbie, thanks for sharing the fly with me. This is the first time I've ever used this for walleyes. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let me show you how I'm working this fly on this three-way rig. Cast it out. It's 20 to 25 feet of water here, lots of current. I don't really have the right line. I wish I had about a six, 10 pound braid or so, but I've got eight pound mono. There's bottom, kind of casting it sideways in the current. Couple of little hops, then let it sit tight. And that's when they've been hitting it. One, two, three, maybe reel back a little bit, tighten it up, wait for it to hit bottom again. Takes a while, there's a lot of current here. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. Leave it tight. Wait till it hits again. Right about now is when they usually hit it. Of course you couldn't do it on cue. Oh yeah. There we go, finally. I would not say this is hot and heavy. But it's better than what we caught the first half of the day. Cookie cutter. This looks kind of familiar, huh, Robbie? Yeah, I, I was on this program. I <laughs> thought once we went to the Fox River, we'd be done, but here we are. Here we are. Oh well, it is better than catching no fish. Fish on, finally for me. Lee's been cleaning up. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at him shake. Another sauger. All right, another little sauger. It's been a long time since I caught one, so there we go. Get him back. Okay. That didn't take too long after my last one. It is really cold right now. It got cold. That sun just went below the trees pretty much and Another, to be expected, but hey, it's better than not fishing, that's for sure. Another one on that green fly. If you guys haven't tried the fly program, might as well try it. 
It's cool. It's something different. It's like using live bait, but you don't have to stick your hands in the minnow bucket. So it's kind of nice that way. Should we go try one more quick spot on the way out of here? Yeah, one more spot and uh, probably call it a night. It's getting cold. Well, the last chance spot did not work out well. Nothing there, negatory. Well, although this wasn't the most exciting no, day no. we've had on the water ever. Hey, we got your riverboat all dialed in, so yes. we're set to go this spring. We got some cool water that we're thinking about hitting soon. If it ever warms up, it's not warming up in no. the near future, but. I love this old boat. Yeah, yeah. This thing will get us anywhere we want to go that most people can't go. So, looking forward to that. But guys, thank you for watching. And uh, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.